um, I went on moncombat4.com and there are some new um, things that they released for us to see. So, let's get started with sniper rifles. This I have to excited for because I am going to start sniping. Mon Combat 4, my number one goal is to become a successful sniper. Now, yeah, so, so the first one to show us is the, <clears throat> one second, E24 SASR, um, okay, the E24 semi-automatic sniper rifle, so it's semi-automatic, uh, um, gives snipers a second chance in counter combat situations. Because of its moderate fire range and reduced recoil. So, um, fire mode is three round bursts. Capacity is 21, which is pretty nice. Um, damage. Looks like it won't be a one shot hit. Or one hit kill. Um, just because of damage. Um, accuracy. That accuracy, I don't know what to think about it. Um, it's not as high as I would have thought it to be. Sniper rifles are supposed to be for accuracy and, um, you know, I lost my train of thought, but, yeah, accuracy <coughs> is supposed to be, like, one of the number one things with sniper rifles, with handling, which is, yeah, with handling, which is good. Um, so, three-round burst, that's pretty nice. Rate of fire, that's looks kind of like the um intercept on Mon Combat 3. Range range I was surprised with too. Range I thought would have been a little higher. Like at least where the accuracy is, accuracy and mobility are, but I I'm saying this is like the second best like this is the second step rifle which means it's the best. And then this one they don't show. Now let's go to handguns. They showed us some. Did they show us some new handguns? No. They, they didn't. Okay. Alright. I've already covered this shock. Strock or stro shock, I don't know. Okay. Submachine guns. Yes, I'm also really excited for it. So the Jolt 7 MP. We can already tell what this is. This is obviously the OPS from Montgomery 3 or the UMP 45 from CLD. <laughs> okay. Damage looks pretty high. Rate of fire looks really high and good. Range, not so much. See, I like this website, so, like, if I ever need to, like, know what guns are best for what maps, I can see, you know, range. It's not very low, so I want to use this gun on smaller maps. Like, using on Combat 3 perspective here, like, um, I want to use it on Countdown, or inside the map, like, or maybe even, like, inside the building of backup or maybe even outside of backup definitely not really scramble unless you like running up to the person and you know um united firearm industries machine pistol series 7 was dubbed jolt because of its unpredictable recoil okay but its precision and lightweight makes a weapon of choice for skirmishing tactic tactic Recoil. So this gun you will want the stock. Oh, this looks like it already has comes with stock. That's my dog. If you hear a jingle, jingle jangle. It looks like you're gonna need to put on um the grip for this. Yeah, that this I'm excited for. There's only two um submachine guns though. Only two. Where are you going? Okay, I guess you got plans of your own. That's cool. And then, I don't think they show us any other Star Trek 28. Oh! 
They do show us a new one. Okay, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is the one we haven't covered. This looks like, like, almost exactly like the ACM. Mm. Okay. So the stock looks like the stock of an M4. And then the rest of the gun just looks like an ACM or an ACR. Okay. Range. This is the type of gun you would want to use on maps like Scramble or Divide. Or, um, maybe alert. Damage, that doesn't look really high, though, at all. Um, accuracy. Well, uh, accuracy and handling, you know. Not the best, but still. Mobility is... Mm, it's pretty good. Okay, so. Now that's the advantage. Um, Enforcement Carbine Model T9 has been the most commonly used assault rifle for urban warfare. It includes great range and reliability. So yeah. This... What I've noticed is these guns have tiny, tiny um, magazines. Or clips or whatever you want to call them. Um, so you might want to use extended mags. For all these, so the sock sock R is an A1, 20. This is 30. The Charm Tech 28. That's 60, and that's supposed to be one of those really really heavy rifles, like the um ah uh, I forget the name of it. Oh well, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, a huge big gun on MC3 that no one likes. Um, yeah, it's also like that. That was like 120 to a magazine. And this has 60. I'm still trying, I haven't played Modern Combat 3 in probably a week or longer. If you can't already tell. Maybe like two weeks. I haven't played in so long. Okay. And they don't show us any other shotguns. And I think that's it. Yep, okay, so, let me get real quick, because I'm aware that they have some new part perks, so the perks, I won't go into details as much, okay, they have the same maps, no maps, no modes, okay, no new specializations, weapons, yes, let's check out support, let's see if support has anything to Nope, 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 nope. Ground drone, how we go? Nope. Okay, that's cool, it's awesome. Grenades. Okay, guys, well, this video might be uh, an end, and um, sorry I haven't been able to. Um, well, oh, one second, one second, one second. Sorry I haven't been able to, um, post videos, but I believe it's twice to try to get a movie, and I've been trying for so long, but I just can't. Ooh, yeah, 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 they do have new ones. Rank 30 selection for your fast, for intervention. Integrated radar, enemies identified on your radar are outlined in the first person view. Huh. That's it. That'll be interesting to see. Personal jammer. Enemies can't use their radar when you're close to them. Aight. Okay. Okay, now let's go back to stealth. So, I might just get spliced again. I used iMovie quite some time ago, and I like it more than splice, but I'll just have to rough it out with splice. Okay, for stealth. Resistance, take less damage from explosions and area damage. So probably like grenades and um, landmines and C4 and stuff. Sneak, don't emit sounds while walking or sprinting. I don't know about you guys, but these um, perks sound pretty gay. Like, seriously. These perks sound really, really gay. 
and if they, I don't think they've had, um, like a legit armor, um, armor, armor elite, so if I have to wait till rank 40 to get that, that's bullshit. Sorry guys, but I'm trying to cuss less. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'm hoping to have, um, new videos this weekend. Maybe some MC2 because I probably won't be playing much in Modern Combat 3 until, yeah, I probably won't be playing more, much Modern Combat 3. I might stop with that until Modern Combat 4 comes out and just do Modern Combat 2. And then I've heard this new game called Dishonored for um, PC and Mac. And um, I am going to actually do that tonight. I've been wanting to do that for a few weeks now or like a week or something. And I finally get the chance to do it tonight, so I will do that tonight, or maybe tomorrow night. I'm pretty tired, so we'll see what time I go to sleep tonight. If it's not out tonight, it'll definitely be out tomorrow night. Sorry about that. Definitely be out tomorrow night. So, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe, and see